No, 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 no. Yeah! Hello, guys. My name is Budget, and today we're going to be playing a game called You May. You May Me? You'll, you'll May Me? You May Me? I don't fucking know, but You May Me Melancholy. Hopefully, I said that somewhat correct, but um, this is from Charon. If you don't know, um, Charon makes some pretty fucked up dating sims. So, we're going to try our best to play this. Um, if you guys are more interested uh, interested in this, let me know. I'll do more videos and uh, live streams covering this. But, um, and without further ado, um, this is the dating sim where you are kidnapped by a caretaker that is coincidentally a Yandere. And you see um, how things go. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. This game contains scenes of violence and grotesque depictions. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you, you know what's gonna go oh, good no. when this happens. This is a work of fiction. Any rela uh, relation to persons or prevents? Okay. It's just telling me that, that there's no coincidences. So if you guys see me in there, don't worry. It's not actually me. <laughs> this all happened one day. The light coming through the <laughs> gaps in the curtains shone into my eyes. It was just another morning. I was about to get out of bed when I noticed something strange. Ah, I know this feeling. I think I have a fever. I'm getting the shivers and my head feels foggy. It seems like I've caught a cold. But still, I have to go to work now. That's just the worst. I've tried to force myself to sit up, but my body was still shaky and wouldn't listen to me. It's no use. I'll have to take the day off. I'll get scolded by my boss again, but I have no other choice. I wasn't hungry, but I forced some convenient uh, I forced some convenience store bread into my mouth and took a cold medicine. I've called my company already, and I should get some rest first. I'll go to the hospital around noon. Today's a weekday. I think about um I can think about what to do later. As I was thinking about that, I closed my eyes. My consciousness slowly faded as I dozed off, probably because the cold medicine was taking effect. My name is Shitaru. <laughs> <laughs> Shitaru! <laughs> Shitaru! <laughs> hey, fuck it. Shit Taro? Are you kidding me? Shitaro. Alright, Shitaro. Let's see how this fucking goes, bro. Fuck. Even though I look younger in other people's eyes, I'm actually a working adult. I'm just your ordinary office worker who's living by himself. I don't have a girlfriend right now, but that doesn't mean I don't have any experience with love. Dude, if your fucking name shit Taro, I have a lot of, um... Okay, okay, sure, okay. I could get a girlfriend if I wanted to, but I don't make enough money to think about marriage. <laughs> I could get a girlfriend if I wanted. Dude, what a fucking incel. This guy is such a... Dude, he's such a fucking incel. Oh my god. Bruh. So I'm fine with the way things are now. No matter how lazy I am, no one will bother me. My parents won't scold me. I'm living the free life of a bachelor. I like that. When I was small, I was quite the rebel. <laughs> I was quite the Dude, oh my god. I even confessed to a girl. I left without any hesitation. Dude, wow, wow, you're so strong. <laughs> I feel like I always had been a rash, carefree sort of person. But I think I became more mature as time went on. They say time changes people, but I guess that's really true. Right now, a peaceful life is my number one priority. Oh, this guy's a Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the image yet. Shit, Taru! Alright, let's do it. Let's go. <gasps> There's voice acting. Holy shit, that's fucking hot. Nice! I finally found you. I heard someone's voice. From where? Oh, that makes me fucking melt. Holy shit. Oh. I feel like someone is calling out oh. to me, but it must be my imagination. I, f I live in a cheap apartment. The walls are thin, so I can sometimes hear voices come from other rooms. You got a fever, you poor thing. I am a poor thing. You know, oh, <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, yeah. 
It's so loud. What's with the voices today? Is it already noon? I feel like I've s slept quite a bit. I should probably get up soon. Oh, yes! Oh, sweet mama, let's fucking go! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh! you up? Dude, dude. I gotta fucking- I gotta fucking call my girlfriend. Tell her- tell her she's gotta get some fucking cosplay going. Holy fuck, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Wedding. Yo, Not yo. Even joking. This, this is- this is where it's at. This is where it's fucking at. <laughs> bro, what the f- What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Let's keep going. God. When I opened my eyes, standing before me, was an unfamiliar girl. She looked into my face with a worried expression. <laughs> so cute. I, I'm, I'm glad she doesn't call me shit Taro, though. <laughs> she doesn't call me shit Taro. Shit Taro, good? Yes, Pissan. Pissan. Yes, yes, piss on. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. Your fever doesn't seem to be going down. But don't worry. You may will take care of you. You may. That's nice. You may. Gotcha. Did someone, did someone, a uh, host? I think, I think that's our boy Cookie. Cookie, thanks for the host, man. I think that's what it was. But. Yeah, thanks, Cookie. Heck yeah. So, here's what I'm going to say. Um, and maybe you guys don't agree, but... Dude, oh my gosh. This this music. I fucking dig this music. I, I need to find out where this music is from and if it's royalty-free. Because, dude, I fucking love this music. It is so pretty. Oh, if someone can do that for me in the chat right now, like, I would fucking literally be so happy. Wow, this dude, music like this comes it's, it's just it feels so musical and not what's the word for it, just so it moves you. You know, it feels it feels like you're already going on an adventure, right? And it's almost like there's a world to be taken, and yet you're stuck inside an hourglass. You know, that's what it feels like, and I love that. And you know what? You know why it sounds like that? Cause it's made by a bunch of fucking weebs. Woo! Alright. Who is this girl? I don't know her name or her face. I've never even talked to her before. And yet, she's speaking like we're close friends. As if it was the most natural thing in the world. You shocked me. Lie in bed looking very painful during working hours. <laughs> You've got a cold. But it's alright. Don't worry. Today, you may will take care of you. Today, I'll take care of you all day. So you'll be fine soon. <laughs> That's cute. She has a nice face. And looks pretty cute. But what she's saying is nonsense. <laughs> what the fuck? Just what's going on? Oh, shit, I got choices? That's cool, okay. Um, let's say, either who are you or how do you know me? Um, hmm. Let me think this over. Who are you? She'll give me a simple answer. How do you know me? That's... Who are you probably is first. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you being such a tease? Oh, I get it. Your fever made you forget all the memories you had with Yume. Didn't it? Nah, dude, this, this bitch fucking broke in my house. We all know it. Dude, she, she fucking... Oh, God. I'm Yumei. She the most cute, caring lover of all things cute and dreamy girlfriend. You know, I would usually cringe at that, but like... But like... She looks fucking cute. And she sounds I mean, fucking cute. I'm not even gonna lie to you, Blue. If that was if that wasn't even true, and she told me that's what was going on, I'd believe her. Yeah, you're my fucking lover of all things cute and dreamy. Yeah. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I love collecting cute goods and trying makeup. 
me say I'm wearing too much makeup, I'll kill you. What the fuck? <laughs> don't don't mess with me, Mammy. <laughs> no! You ran really early in the game to start doing this. Alright, I hate to be like this, but I think I'm actually gonna move VCs. Sorry, guys. It's, it's too, it's too... Yeah, sorry. I, I'm sorry. gonna move really quick, so... Um, I'll come back after the game, though. Oh, he left? Oh. Well, I mean, Daffy, you can be quiet, that'd be cool, okay? Okay. Alright. <clears throat> My favorite animals are unicorns and rabbits. <laughs> They're so cute. I love my Shiku. My boyfriend Shiku. My fiance Shiku. My favorite Shiku. I love Shiku. Oh my god. He and I live super close by. We're living together next. Um, we're living together next to Shikun's room. She's a stalker. That's we already know. She's a fucking stalker, bro. After saying that, she pointed to my closet. What? What? Apparently, a very dangerous woman has her eye on me. Yeah! Ah, ah that's right. Chikun, you're hungry, right? Oh, fuck, dude. You and me just went shopping. I'm gonna make lunch in a jiffy. Just wait a bit. Dude. She fuck. She, she already said she'll fucking kill me if I tell her she's wearing too much fucking makeup. And she's living in my fucking closet, dude. Dude, this bitch is seeing my fucking butthole, probably. Like, you know, you know shit's wrong. <laughs> you know shit ain't fucking right. <laughs> Just stay here. Shiku, you're still sick. I mean... That's so... After saying that, the girl called you made me happily ha uh, headed for my kitchen. What should I do? There's a crazy woman in my house. <laughs> that's probably what every fucking American husband thinks. <laughs> There's a crazy woman in my house! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. She said she liked me, but isn't she one of those stalkers? Yeah, dude, fucking kick the bitch out. She said, uh, she said she was living together with me, but she's actually living in my closet without permission. Wait, doesn't that mean she has a duplicate key or something? It's been almost two years since I moved here, but I don't remember ever having a duplicate key ever made. Ah, uh, my head hurts. What is this you made me going to do with me while I'm sick and out with a cold? I could hear her humming happily from the kitchen, unaware of my anxiety. What should I do now? I wonder if it's a good idea to let her be. I'll... Call the... <laughs> oh, fuck. Escape from here? Okay, so we have a few options here, right? Um, yeah, There's some random bitch in my house. Depends, depends how hot she is, right? Right. Either you could escape from here. Call the police or remain where I'm at. She'll fucking kill us if we call the police, I think. I kinda like her. Kinda. Still kinda fucking scared. I know it's gonna be bad for me, too. But I wanna get in over more. Talk to her through shit. And maybe we can resolve this peacefully, right? Because I, 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 I don't wanna fucking die. <laughs> I don't wanna fucking die! So we're just, we're just gonna... Because I feel like if I call the police or anything else, like, she's going to cut off my fucking hand or some shit. <laughs> like, nah, bro. Remain where I'm at. Making a fuss won't help matters. Right now, I have a fever. My legs have been tied up and I can't move. What? Why are your legs tied up? Let's laze around for a while longer. You may me doesn't seem to have any bad intentions. She seems genuine in nursing me. More importantly, she likes me, right? So there's no way she'll do anything strange to me. I decided to wait for her to finish making lunch. Thanks for waiting. Lunch is ready. She appeared with a smiling face. Apparently, she had already finished her own lunch. I'm sorry. It took so long even though I did this uh, did a lot. You've waited so long, Shikun. Good boy. <coughs> Sorry, it feels, you know, it's cute when she says it, but it feels weird me saying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's the first time I've had she couldn't try it. So, I guess I went a little overboard. You made me smile, Charlie, and put her tongue out cutely. 
Are you trying to act like an idol? How are you feeling, Shiku? Do you have any appetite? Can you eat at least a little bit? Dude, watch it be like the fucking bones of the last person that fucked with her. You need to eat something before you take the medicine, or else it'll be hard on your stomach. Today's the first time we've met, and she's a crazy girl no matter how you look at it. Coming into someone's house without permission and claiming that she's dating me. She could get well soon. I love you. For some reason, I found you made me a little bit cute. No shit. She's worried about me. She's really trying her best to take care of me. When I think about it, I wonder if it's not so bad to be with her. <laughs> Close your eyes. She comes. I want you to guess what it is just by the smell. You're fucking Kutragoon, bitch. I can't help. I can't be helped. Indulging her. I close my eyes. Yes. So, what did you think? Warm steam hits my nose. I'm getting hungry. I've only eaten bread since this morning, so I'm grateful that I can eat cooked food. It smells a bit fishy, with a hint of spices mixed in. Maybe it's seafood. Oh no, she's gonna fucking drug my ass. I'm not very good with fish dishes, but it was made for me, so I felt rather happy. Um, let's say seafood curry. Let's see that. Psst. The answer is... Before she could say anything, I slowly opened my eyes. <gasps> oh my god, I was right! Well then, eat up. What the f- Is that my leg? What is this? A human foot? It looks just like a foot. No way, it's got to be fake. Right? Dude, I was tied up. My legs were tied up. No! This fucking bitch! That's right. It's Shikun's right foot. No! <laughs> fucking bitch! This fucking bitch! What? But there's no way. I mean, my right foot is right here. Come to think of it, I can't feel my legs because they're tied up. No way, no way, no way, no way. I hurriedly pulled back the covers. My right foot was gone. Without a doubt, that girl cooked my one and only right foot. My legs have been tied up for so long that I didn't feel it. Oh my god, that's making. Oh, the fucking no! Bros before hoes! Bro before hoes, man! You fucking want a girl? No, no, fuck her. Go to the fucking gym. You go to the fucking gym, dude. Fuck that shit. Oh my god, I didn't realize that until now. Oh. I tumbled out of my bed on the floor in terror. <laughs> in my head, I like I like the thing that he screamed anyway, like. <laughs> I can't walk like this. I can't call for help. But if I stay here for any longer, I'll, I'll. Dragging both legs behind me, I managed to call for forward using just my hands. Don't run away! Don't you run away? You haven't gone as far as to give up your foot. You made me grab me roughly by my hair as I crawled on the floor and tried to escape. She comes. Cold hasn't gone away yet. With an irritated expression, she looked over me. You may want to let Shikun go until you're all well again, okay? Then why don't you cook my foot, you bitch? Let me fucking take your foot, dumb whore. You may me caught me um caught me roughly and wrapped my arms with wires. No, they're thin wires, so I might be able to break free by force. Shit, shit! I need to get this off of me. I thought as I struggled to loosen my restraints. Then I was wrapped with a sharp pain. What? Then I checked behind me in fear. I found countless sewing, sewing needles attached to the wire. <laughs> Don't do that, Chica. If you're too rough, your hands might come off too, you know. Oh my god. Isn't acupuncture good for you? She couldn't will get better soon. But there's sewing needles. <laughs> she laughed off my desperate struggles. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, hey. What's wrong? Why do you look so scared? Chicken, could it be that you don't want to eat Yume's ham and food? No! It's my fucking foot, you bitch! Don't I want don't I want to eat? My hands are tied because of you. So what do you want me to do? Yume's inability to understand Japanese is making me frustrated. Well then, Yume will feed you. She happily began to cut my fragrantly flavored foot with a knife. Blood overflows and dribbles. Oh my god. Oh! Out as she cuts into the meat. You made me 
didn't pay it any mind and skillfully cut into bite-sized pieces. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Okay. Open wide. Oh. No, 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 no. Fuck, dude. That's my fucking toe. You know the worst part is? Not only is she feeding me myself, but she's feeding me my foot. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm not into feet, okay? This is fucking hell, bro. I don't want to eat it. It's such a cruel thing. I was just I was just going about my day, you know? I just missed work because of my fever, that's all. Why did this strange woman do this to me? Why do I have to suffer through this? Why? The frustration. The irrationality of it all made me cry. No one will wipe away the tears that fell from my eyes. Even though I tried to keep my mouth shut, the meat was forced into my mouth. <laughs> Is it good? The taste of my own flesh and blood spread throughout my mouth. Holy fuck, dude. Bad end. Her handmade cooking. Dude, I was nice to her and she fucked me over. What a bitch. Holy shit. That's it. There's no more. Or it's gonna be another. It'll be six endings in total. How do you know me? There we go. How do you know me, bitch? Why are you being such a tease? Oh, I get it. Your fever made Oh, so either way, it doesn't matter. She's just a fucking whore. Alright, don't tell me, bitch. Oh, no, she's you made me. But, I mean, like... Holy fuck, though. She cut off your fucking foot. Holy fuck, that's scary. What the fuck? Alright, so there's three endings. Um... Saying that, she pointed to my closet. Oh my god, that's fucking creepy. Like, it shouldn't irritate me as much, but like, dude, like, holy fuck. Holy shit, dude. I, I did not expect for it to be that just fucking disturbing. Oh my god, dude. That's more fucking disturbing than fucking Doki Doki, bro. Like, holy fuck. All right, call the police, escape from here. Let's, let's try calling the police, because your legs are fucked already. All right, or, or uh, call the police. Well, uh, call the police. Yes, I should call the police as soon as possible. No matter how I think about it, she's suspicious, and who knows what will happen if I let her be. Yeah, who knows? Not like we know. <laughs> the best thing to do in this situation is to keep calm and let the police handle it. Thinking that, I wish for my, for my smartphone um, that was laying on my bedside table. We're doing this only because we can't run, but honestly, in a real situation, if you can, do you fucking grab something to defend yourself and you'd be like, get the fuck away from me. Honestly, like, dude, like if someone was in my house like this, I'd grab something to defend myself, grab a gun and be like, you wait over there. You don't touch me, you stay right there. You know what I mean? Because, like, dude, too many of these motherfuckers, like, mm, -mm just, no. Nah. No, 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 no. Hmm. I can't find my f my smartphone. I'm pretty sure I put it right here before I fell asleep. I searched under my pillow, but I couldn't find anything. Strange. Don't tell me that that girl. I had a bad feeling about this. I hurriedly glanced at the floor. Found it. My smartphone had fallen to the floor. It seems the charging cable was still connected. I'm panicking, so I started to think rationally. But I can't help it. There's a criminal in my house. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. I quickly picked it up and aligned my finger with a uh, fingerprint sensor. Shit. I never had a problem unlocking my phone before. <gasps> she changed it! And she knew my password because she's been probably stalking me, so oh fuck. My hands are soaked in sweat right now, so maybe that's a problem. I had no choice but to enter the pa in the passcode. I entered my birthday, as usual, but it didn't unlock. She, she fucked with it, dude! She's a fucking whore, man! Did I make a mistake? Alright, let's calm down. I'll try again. All right. Like the anime, but don't become a weeb. That's, that's my that's my advice for the day, folks. No, it doesn't work. What's going on? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is all her doing. No. Oh no, my head it feels like it's boiling. I've got to cool down. I got to chill out. Oh, th that's right. I I'll use the emergency call feature in this situation like this. If I don't use it now, then then when I I. 
I hurriedly pressed the emergency button and brought up the number pad. Er, the number for the police was... <gasps> oh, fuck! What are you doing? Oh, shit. She's gonna fucking cough my hand, bro. Holy shit, that's fucking scary. You notice how his hair's blue? Like, blue digit? <laughs> uh. Oh, you forgot your password? <laughs> You're so clumsy. Oh, God. She's gonna cough my fucking hand, huh? Huh? You can't remember? Then won't you let Yume show you? Just when she did. Just when did she get over here? My pants become damp as my strength gave out. Oh, no. Dribble. Yellow liquid leaked from between my legs as my muscles relaxed. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Shiku. You peed your pants, didn't you? Oh, that's fucking- No! I was struck by embarrassment oh, and fear. My consciousness faded into darkness. Bad ending. Incontent Shikun. Oh, f I like that ending. The, the, it was a bad ending, but that was probably the- I- That- I like it. This is so good. One ending is like, you know, if you're into it, like, hey, you wanna get scared shitless? You just want, like, the fucking blood? There's one for you, right? There's one where you go, what the fuck, right? If you want one that's actually true fear, honestly, that was the scariest one. That one right there where just it ends and you don't know what happens after she looked, that's fucking scary. That la- holy fuck. Alright. Dude, I just don't think it was necessary for him to pee his pants. Fuck, dude. Bad endings, dude. All right, let's do escape from here. Yes, I've got to get out of here as soon as possible. I'll get out of the house and then I'll ask my neighbors for help. Because if I stay here like this, I I don't know what that woman will do to me. Fearing for my safety, I decided to run away before she could find me. Fortunately, my hands were free, so I was able to untie myself and get out of bed. You made me continue to cook in the kitchen while humming in a good mood. Good. Looks like she hasn't noticed me yet. I didn't bother to change my clothes. Safety first, after all. I put on my shoes and confirmed the door was unlocked. Then I put my hand on the doorknob. <gasps> Suddenly, a sharp pain ran through my fingers like a paper cut. Red drop. She cut off my fucking hand! Red droplets of blood pooled on my hand. Uh, what? Looking more carefully, I found thin wires wrapped around the doorknob. The wires have been roughly cut off to ensnare any hand. No matter how I look at it, this was done on purpose. As to say, don't get out of here. Why, why did this happen? See that girl's doing? Would she do something like this? That pretty girl doing something like this. You're, you're kidding me. I was such a fool. I didn't notice because I was in such a hurry and I fell right into her trap. Oh, God. I heard a voice from behind me. Oh, hell no. You're a bad boy, Shikun. Uh. I turned around and I saw her standing there, her smile unchanged. You can't do that. She can still sit. You need to properly rest and relax. Right. She spoke in a kind voice, but the expression on her face gave me the creeps. I can't understand what she's thinking at all. What should I do? To escape her clutches. Why don't you start to feel it? Right. No, no way. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Shiku, you may work so hard to make this for Sh Shiku. You may cooking. Why won't you eat it? I don't think Japanese will get through to her anymore. <laughs> I love how this game's in English right now, and that's funny. My words didn't reach you, Mamie. And I've got to lay it out straight. Oh, God. You're not my girlfriend, I don't want to see your face. What? Backlog. What the fuck? Um, let's save right here. 
didn't know you could do that. Okay. Let's do you're not my girlfriend. With her mouth hanging open, you may frozen for a minute. She could. It's okay, she could. Don't be scared. You may is she is on she side. I'll never betray she you know? Say it to my fucking foot! I know. So of course you say that, right? But the truth is she You love you, man. Don't you? Don't worry. We were friends, she I'll kill them all. You may have forgotten about that day. She said he loves you, man. Said it many times. I remember it. Shikun and Yumi will be together forever. I'll kill anyone who gets on my way. Kill! <laughs> oh god, it's fucking creepy. Bang! There was a piercing sound, and blood suddenly poured out of the left side of Yumi's chest. Who the fuck shot her? With a thud, Yumi and me fell to the floor. I was still processing what had happened when an armed man appeared in front of me. Hey, you! Are you unhurt? Uh, I noticed that people dressed like JSDF were coming in one after the other through the window. That girl was committing serial kill, uh, serial murders around here. We just received their permission to shoot and kill. I see. I knew it. You made me was a dangerous person. I had apparently just been caught up in an incident. My tense body loosened up. And I slumped to the floor. Ah. Uh, I see. I'm glad it's over. That's kind of sad, though. But it's fucking creepy. That's fucking creepy. Holy shit, bro. Mmm. And that's why there's no simping for bitches. No simping for bitches. No, no, no. You get that urge. You get that urge. You want to be. You want to be a little horny. You want. You want the waifus. You want that. You want that. I don't know this. <laughs> go to the fucking gym. You go to the fucking gym. Bro. Or else this bitch is gonna fuck you up. I don't want to feel like no. I fuck that shit, bro. I ain't doing that shit. Hell no. Mm. Fuck that shit, dude. Oh my god. What? Wait. What's this? A little boy and a girl were walking together at sunset, taking a, do a detour on road back from home. The two of them were talking to each other. The boy waved a branch around and played around by pulling up some nearby weeds. No. Does she even have um so many likes? No. Don't make me actually care. In the middle of this, the girl muttered a few words. The boy threw away the tree branch and walked over to the girl. I, I like you, Yume. For a moment, she was unable to comprehend his words, and finally uttered a faint voice. Chikun. Then in that case, flustered, she said this in an, an embarrassed tone. When you, you may become older, will you m marry you? As the girl said that, the boy paused for just a little bit. Of course, it's a promise. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm so happy. While absorbed in happiness, the girl turned away, her gaze from the boy. Cast away by her own family, and raised by relatives, not connected by blood, she had to act meekly. She would look at people's faces before doing anything. The few words that she did speak were mostly during class. The only time she could relax was while walking with the boy from another class. He was her only friend. They didn't know yet that the boy and the girl in a few years would grow up to be completely different. 
He didn't know much today's events, had supported the Shy quite well. No! My heart, that was beating vigorously until now, it was already spent. It was only beating softly. Soon, his heart will stop, and Yume's life will come to an end. I want to tell Shiku, at the very least, I want to tell Shiku my last words. He may want to die, because she had nothing, nothing but bad things, all the time. My eyes couldn't see any light. I knew the end was nigh. Where did he go? Has he already considered Yume as a stranger already? Oh no! Don't make no! Stop! Okay, we're good. <sighs> Even though I finally met you, but thanks to Shikun. You make her live her life until today. Because she had a future she could. You make her endure any harsh and terrible words calmly. Anything. Everything. Because she could was there for me. The current Yume was created by she could. So even if she couldn't forget about you, it's alright. Yume was happy just seeing she could alive and well. I could just confirm his figure once again with my own eyes. Just that will make me happy. Shikun. I'm glad I met you. Hey, Shikun. If this was all a dream, wouldn't that be even better? True end. Yume's vow. Holy fuck. Bro, got me out here crying, bro. So, okay. I... This is where it gets tricky, right? I fucking love this game. I fucking love this game. This was great. Um, 10 out of 10, easily. It was fun, it was enjoyable. Multiple ends, didn't take too long though. Got right to the chase, and every single time you did reach your end, it had some impact behind it that was different from the last. None of them felt like they didn't have a place. All of them felt fucking great. This game's amazing. Great, great, great. Charon, if you're listening, please make more of these. I'm beyond blessed to have played this game, and I think everyone else has seen this as well. Not only got a story that um, had amazing art, had a well done characters for the short amount of time that was given and the art was charming in its own special way that honestly years to come this will still look pretty charming you know i liked it i thought it was wonderful um thank you for that i liked all the endings i the only thing i can say and this is where obviously we talk about the ending right um and this is where it gets really tricky the ending was in my opinion really good because obviously you have this um girl that is very um broken right and um because of her lack of connections um if you do that to a person i mean like, if you ignore them of course when there's one person that talks to them what's going to happen they're going to become very connected right just like this and they're going to be like what's go whoa whoa don't leave me right they're going to remember that compared to like let's say you talk to someone every single day right so i might be di dissecting this a bit too much but like you know um, especially with how they said her family, even her own fucking family wasn't even related. You can kind of assume that she probably didn't have a good family life and that, you know, she had essentially nothing. So, when she did commit, um, murders, I feel like it was, um, more or less in an attempt to find her own humanity once again, right? Which she was, um, stripped of as a child. And not to say I, I, I condone what she does, obviously, or, like, I, I agree with her, because I still think, um, obviously, people that come from that low of a place can obviously overcome that. But she didn't. She thought she relied on someone else, and that was Shikun. And when she finally found Shikun again, which was not really even a person to her, but more of an idea, right? This was an idea that this person is my hope. When she finally got there... She more 
not only wanted Jesus, you know, say, like, this is finally where he belonged, but also, in a sick and twisted way, you know, obviously wanted to get revenge because you said you'd be there for me, but you weren't, right? So, in the end, it never really would work out for her because she was a broken person. But seeing how she got from point A to point B, it's something that you can really enjoy and take in as beautiful, you know? Um, in its own twisted and sad way. Um, so, if you're watching on um, Twitch, thank you. Um, if you're watching on the YouTube, then I'm going to do the last one on Twitch. We're going to keep going, but everyone on YouTube, um, if you're watching, all I want to say is thank you so much for watching. My name is Willie Sunny out. Um, all I gotta say is, if you guys would, please go sub. Let me know, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this shit, or if you guys are into that foot shit like she gave you, um, or fed you. But, um, all I gotta say, guys, is remember, don't be down bad. These bitches are temporary. The boys are forever. Um, and as always, guys, please join and become a digit today. Smile, keep your head up, and let's fight for a future so bright. You see what your eyes. My name is Bluetooth signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop. I have a feeling this is not going to work still. We're going to cross our fingers it does, but I have a feeling it's not. <gasps> yes! I'm a fucking Chad! I'm a fucking Giga Chad! Yes! Y'all don't know. Y'all don't fucking know. Fuck yeah. Woo! Desu Desu, motherfucker. Let's go. Alright. Well, why are you being so Chad like? What? 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 Well, I said, why are you being so Chad like? What do you mean, being? I've always been. Be you're Chad -like. being so Chad like. My, my, my entire existence has been just Chad, Jelly. You don't, you don't understand that? No, I don't. I thought, I thought that was the whole reason you're hanging out with me, bro. Kind of. <laughs> bro, what? what? <laughs> why are we in Boner Boys VC? <laughs> 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 And your point is? <laughs> <laughs> just now noticed that. That was the point. Alright, guys. I'm back, by the way. Welcome back, big boy. Alright, so we fixed it. We're gonna have a great time this game. See, a little bit of determination, you get the games going. The good ones, the real ones, unlike, unlike Fortnite. Alright, guys, Fortnite, so. 